Hey everyone, I'm 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor here with an outlook on your forecast for the rest of tonight. We're expecting skies to stay clear, but temperatures will drop once again. We'll be in the single digits into the low teens. Skies are going to increase with the clouds for Sunday morning, and we're expecting your Sunday to start off dry, but as early as 4 p.m., we'll see some snow begin to push in. And this will be for the entire Detroit metro area. It's going to start off mainly south and west of Detroit, near Adrian, Jackson, Lansing. And then from there, it's going to push east. Therefore, I'm thinking by about, say, 6 to 8 o'clock, that's when snow is going to be at its heaviest and also most widespread. But it's not going to be something where everybody's going to see the snow. It does appear that it's a better chance south of 96. And what I mean by that, you can draw a line here from 96 going from Lansing to Howell and also from Warren, that's 696 there. This, using this as the line, everywhere south of that, so it includes Westland, Detroit, Monroe, Adrian, Ann Arbor, and all the surrounding communities south of that highway. North, we're going to have some snow showers, but it's just not going to be enough to accumulate like it will south. As far as accumulation totals, we're thinking about one to two inches for the hardest hit locations. That snow will taper off by midnight, and then once we get towards your Monday, Monday morning we start off dry, but then another system pushes in. This one will start off as snow, and then transition to a wintry mix with ice and sleet mixing into that for Monday night going into Tuesday morning. So here we go again. Another rough start to the work week is on the way. For tonight, 12 degrees, mostly clear and cold. Going into your day tomorrow, we'll call it a quick burst of snow. We'll get a high temp near 30. I'm thinking around 28. Clouds increase by the afternoon. Snow showers will be around. They could be heavy at times, lowering visibility. Could pick up a quick one to two inches of snow before that settles down. As far as the details, I'm thinking this impact will be moderate. Uh, two inches of snow, that's in isolated areas. It's not going to be something that will be detrimental to the roads, but of course, untreated surfaces will be slippery enough to slow you down. And I think that's the key here with this snow situation is that it will probably slow you down if you're out and about. Once we get into Monday's forecast, once again, we start off dry and cloudy, but it's Monday night where that next system punches in. That's why we put the emphasis on Monday evening. And that's going to be when that system pushes in, going into a wintry mix for Tuesday morning. Uh, but after that, I mean, we warm up a little bit. That wintry mix will transition to all rain. We cool down again. Valentine's Day looks dry for now with temperatures in the 40s. And then as we go towards your Thursday, we'll see another change here where we'll have the rain coming back for Friday going into Saturday, changing back to snow. So lots of ups and downs in the next seven days with chances of rain and also snow. Hey, thanks for joining us here at WXYZ.com to get your forecast information. Next planned update will be by Hallie for your Sunday morning.